Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to be doing, uh, I don't know the number, but we've done a few of these. We're, we're doing a full collection 1 to 400 video. So if you don't know and if you are new here, every November and every May, so every six months, uh, I do a full collection update. So it's grown since last time, of course. Um, I think I counted 138. Uh, that is including the damaged ones, which I will get to. Um, but yeah, I'll just go through these, uh, say a bit about you know each plane and what I'm thinking of doing with it and all things like that. I do have two new models, which I did get the other day. Um, I was going to do a um, unboxing video. Uh, it is the Gemini Jets April releases, the two I got for there. But um, unfortunately, the memory card corrupted so I wasn't able to get that out. Originally I was going to have that, that video out today where, where you're seeing this one. And then I was going to have this video out next week but unfortunately of course things don't really work that way so I've kind of had to bump this up to this week um, and yeah we're just going to get through it. So. Um, yeah, there's a lot of planes to get through, so I guess I'll just get started. United Express Q200, another United Express Q200, United Express ERJ170, United Express ERJ170, uh, ERJ175, that is my entire United Express fleet there. Then we have the United A320, another United A320, United 737-700, we have, uh, this is the new, this is the new release, no this one is, sorry, I get confused, there is a slight colour difference, I don't know if you can see, but this is the older uh, United 737-800, then this one is the 2019 United 737-800, we have my oldest uh, United plane, apart from the 747, we have the United 737-900, then another United, did I say 900? Yeah, uh, United 737-900 in the Eco Skies livery. Then we have the United uh, Max 9, the United 757-200, United 757-300, United 767-300, another United 767-300. This is the same case with, uh, this is the 2019 one. Well, I think it's December 2018. I'm not sure, it's around then. Then this one is the 20. 13 I think I'm I'm gonna have to double check on that one but yeah then here we have the United 747 400 my first United plane uh, then we have the United 777 200 another United 777 200 United 777 300 United 787-8 United 787-10, so I just need the 9 and then I've got all three variations. Moving on to Alaska now, we have the Alaska 737-800 uh, there, and then we have the other Alaska 737-800 in the Salmon 30 Salmon livery. Alaska Air Cargo 737-400F, uh, American now, American 757-200. American A321, then we have the American MD80, the American Max 8, the American One World 737-800, I do want like a plain 737-800, then we have the American Eagle ERJ-175, another ERJ-175, and then the uh, CRJ-700. Moving on to Delta now, we have the Delta Connection CRJ-200, the Delta 717, the Delta MD-90, we have the Delta... Uh, CS100, also known as the A220. Then we have the Delta uh, 737-900, my Delta uh, 757-200, Delta 7, uh, not Delta, sorry, uh, Southwest 737 Max 8, my slight broken, that is a bit of a shame there, but you know, that's the trouble with cats. Another Southwest Max 8, now these two both have separate registrations, which is pretty neat. Then we have the uh, Southwest 737-700, the Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 livery, and then the Southwest 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. Now you're probably wondering where my Southwest 737-800 is, I will get to that in a minute. But moving on to, I guess we'll move on to Iceland Air now. Here we have one of the new models I got, this is the Iceland Air 757-300 in the 100th uh, Anniversary of Independence for Iceland livery. Then we have the uh, Iceland Air 80th livery. Uh, then we have the Hecla Aurora 757-200 and the Iceland Air 737 Max 8. 
the Wow Air A through 21 Neo. Then we have the uh, Omni Air International 757 200. Uh, we have a Blanks 727. Uh, this is actually an ex Alaska Russian Towers 727. I just because of course they don't fly anymore, so I just got rid of the livery and now I just call it kind of like a private jet. Uh, we have a BBJ 737 uh, 700, Copa Airlines 737 800, Aeromexico 737 800. We have an Avianca. This one's actually a custom. Uh, this is an Avianca A321. Uh, then we have a Volaris A320 Neo, JetBlue A320. I do want to get more JetBlues because I only have one. Frontier A320, Frontier A320 Neo. I do want to get more Frontiers as well, considering Dallas is a focus city for Frontier. Uh, then we have my Air Canada section, so we have the Air Canada A321, the Air Canada Max 8, the Air Canada uh, CRJ900, uh, I do want to get the ERJ175, that's not out yet, but hopefully Gemini Jets will release that, and then we have the Porter Q400. Moving on to the internationals now, we have the British Airways 787-8, British Airways 777-200, British Airways 747-400, British Airways 747-400 in the One World livery, British Airways 747-400 in the Landor livery, then we have the British Airways A380, the Air France A380, this is back in service to Dulles now, um, then we have the Air France 777-200, uh, the Air France A340-300, Air France Concorde and the British Airways Concorde, we have the Virgin Galactic uh, Enterprise, Tiger Air 737-800 and Qantas 737-800. Uh, then back there we have the Air China 777-300, the Saudi Arabian 777-300, Qatar One World 777-300, Air India 777-300, uh, Emirates 777-300, then we have the Emirates uh, A380, Virgin Atlantic A330-300, Virgin Atlantic 747-400. Uh, this is another new model. We have the Lufthansa A340-600. Lufthansa 747-400 in the new livery. And then here we have the Lufthansa 747-400 in the old livery. Lufthansa A330-300 in the old livery. Then we have a Korean Air 777-300. This is the only non-ER 777-300 I have. LL 747-400 ANA 777-200 in the 2020 livery. Uh, Air New Zealand Old Livery 747-400, Finnair One World A350-900, Cathay Pacific A350-1000, uh, KLM Old Livery A330-300, uh, KLM 787-9 in the new livery, uh, Scandinavian A330-300, Brussels A330-300, Air, uh, Air Flot uh, A330-300, TAP A330-200, Turkish A330-200 and then back here we have the Alitalia uh, A330-200, Ethiopian 787-8, Royal Air Maroc 787-8, uh, Etihad 787-9, we have the Austrian 777-200, the South African A340-600, the Aer Lingus A330-200 and finally the uh, Air Corio IL-62. I kept on calling this a 52 last time so I do apologise for that. And that is it for the uh, civil kind of side, so now we're going to move on to um, damaged cargo and military. So moving on to the cargo now, we have the FedEx MD-11, another FedEx MD-11. Uh, one of these as you can see is broken, now I, I didn't break this but this came like this so I feel a bit ripped off. Uh, but as you can see it doesn't have that back eng engine piece uh, on there. Um, and yeah, so this one's a little bit decolored as well, di discolored, sorry. Um, but yeah, these two are very old. They are from 1999 or 8, something like that. Then back here we have a UPS 767300F and a 747400F. That is my cargo collection. I do want to get more FedExes. I want to get a 752, 767, uh, and yeah, a few of them. And a few, um, exp not express, uh, what would you call them? What's, what's the small ones called? Feeder, sorry. FedEx feeders, I want to get a few of them. Then here we have two RAF uh, C1Ks. We have four USAF uh, F117s. Then we have a Hawaiian uh, KC135. A uh, Arizonian, Arizonan, I don't know how you say that. Um, KC135, we have an Omega Tanker 707. A RAF um, C130, then we have a RNAF uh, C130, uh, USAF C17, another one, and then we have a USAF B1 and B2. 
That is it for all the um, like okay planes, if you will. Now we're going to move on to the damaged ones. So here, I feel so stupid showing you this, but um, here is that Southwest 737 Mac, uh, not Max 8, uh, 800. Now what happened to this is it's completely stupid, but basically this is where I keep all of my planes. I keep them on this shelf here, um, and basically when I was, you know taking the planes out um, I was getting one that was further back and the plane hit this one and it fell on the floor and I am still trying to I'm staying positive I'm gonna try and fix it like I've got all the pieces I've got the wheel there and the back thing there I mean I'm gonna try and fix it but you know um, yeah I, I just need Gemini Jets to release another one of these and I'll buy about five anyway here we have my second Canyon Blue 737 700 it's just a bit damaged I've tried to experiment because um, this is when the uh, new livery came out I was like I don't need this one I was gonna keep one but this one I just kind of I experimented turning it into kind of like a private jet but of course that didn't go well I didn't really need it so I didn't really care about it and this plane is the one that um, uh, I basically tortured uh, this is when the United new livery came out well the old livery now but this is back when the Continental livery came out and so I just destroyed this I burnt it I buried it I threw it out a window I just you know just to make it seem that kind of crashed kind of thing um, so yeah then my Hawaiian uh, A330 200 all I need is an engine and a back um, tail thing and that is fine uh, my Malaysian A330 I don't need this plane anyway but the front landing gear is messed up and then that's uh, messed up as well front landing gear on this one is gone but this is the Emirates A380 uh, it was kind of good though because breaking this gave me a good um, kind of motivation to get the plane because I've been after the plane Emirates A380 you can see it back there um, but it was 50 pounds so I was like I don't want to spend 50 pounds on a on a plane but then when I broke this I was like right I just I just need to go for it um, and then this one this is a British Airways World Cargo 747-8 now these aren't in operation anymore anyway um, so I don't really mind it as much uh, but basically I took all the gear off here um, so I could use that for other planes that could repair them and all that and then down here this was an ex US Piedmont A319 I tried to um, kind of customize this into a Avianca A319 I was pretty proud of it it's not too bad for a custom um, but I mean the wings are fine like, I painted those engines red and all of that and I'm pretty proud of that but just the body um, I didn't realize that decals were so expensive and hard to find so that's why I kind of gave up on that and then I took the back uh, ailerons off here to repair the 727 because if you actually notice it's very hard to see but of course this isn't exactly my most pride prided work but these are actually ailerons off of a a319 on a 727 so you know that's you got to do what you got to do but that's kind of it that is my 138 plane collection and yeah, I've actually got two in the mail. I've got the Aer Lingus A330-300 in the new livery and the new livery Royal Air Maroc 787-9. And that was given to me uh, by a subscriber, which is just amazing. I, I just thank you for like all the people who do this. I, I got this um, uh, Delta 737 for free as well, just because someone sent it to me. And that's just amazing. I This is actually a good opportunity to just thank you because... You know, without all of you guys, I don't want to sound cliche, but it's true. Without all of you guys, I wouldn't be where I am now. Like with this amount of subscribers that I'm at, it's gone up crazily the last month. Um, like a month ago, I had 5,000 subscribers. Now I'm on 7,200, I think, which is just insane. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Um, it means the world to me and I do not want to take where I am at the moment for granted at all. I know the common viewpoint when you get to a certain milestone is you know how can i grow even further like i mean you know when you get to this stage most people would be thinking uh, including me you know how can i get to 10,000 and 20,000 but i just want to take the moment that i'm in at the moment and try and not take it for granted um, and just think about when i was back at 20 subscribers struggling to grow and you know how much this would have meant to me back then and it still means so much for me at the moment so thank you so much um, I'll try to continue to give you 
great content. Just give me suggestions and what you want and I will try to do this because after all, I'm doing this for you. Like I don't, I don't earn money off of YouTube. I don't put ads on my videos, um, just because I know it doesn't seem right. I didn't want to do this for a job. I wanted to do this as a hobby, just to kind of share my love of aviation and all of that. So, yeah, just give me suggestions on what videos you want to see, and I'll do my best to get around to it. I know with the um, with the uh, suggested airport updates. I would love to do all of your airport updates, but unfortunately, you know, I can't do, I've, I'm not even kidding here, I've got like 50 updates that, that have been recommended that I should do, and um, a lot of people have said, why don't I do like some European airports, I can only really do um, American airports, as you can probably see, like look at all this, like I can't, I've had a lot of you know requests for Manchester and London, and I would love to do that, but I just don't have the planes. Um, I am thinking about doing a one-off kind of uh, Reykjavik update because, of course, I have a well, Wow Air doesn't exist anymore, but I might add it to that update just because. But then I have you know four Iceland airplanes, and I am planning as soon as NG Models brings out a plane. Um, new livery Iceland Air 757-200 I'm planning on getting a couple of them just because um, back in the summer schedule of last year uh, Dallas was getting two 757s uh, every day and even though I do have these special liveries um, it was only like you know once a week would get one of them so I would like the opportunity to have two just plain 757s then they were operating the Max 8 for a while there and yeah it just I'm thinking about that. I'm I'm trying to you know other planes as well. I'm, I think Delta actually operates. I think it's Delta. I can't remember. They operate a 757. I think from New York JFK to Reykjavik. I'm gonna have to double check on that, of course, because I don't think that's actually realistic. But yeah, um, another airport I would love to do eventually. Uh, once I've got all the Dulles planes sorted. Well, see, I say this every time. Like I'm so close to getting Dulles sorted, and then a new airline comes to Dulles, and of course. United have now got a new livery, so I'm going to have to get a lot more of them. But end goal would be, um, I would love to get um, all of the Dallas planes sorted. And then, because I do love Hawaiian's livery, maybe get, maybe not Honolulu, but like a smaller Hawaiian airport. Maybe like, I don't know, like a smaller airport that doesn't really have as many flights, but some flights to America as well, because um, I'd like to get a lot of these kind of planes in there as well. Um, and I know Southwest have now started service to Hawaii, so that's quite interesting. But yeah, just give me suggestions on different videos, not necessarily airport updates, anything in particular you'd like me to do. Um, I will try my best to get around to it. And yes, that has kind of been it for this, uh, this uh, half annual uh, Gemma Jets collection video in 1 to 400 scale. Um, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, here we've. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hapax Lagonamanon.